Diabetes, diabetes, diabetes. What is causing this epidemic? Diabetes, diabetes. Like a regular size? Type 2 diabetes? Junk food? All of the above? Maybe. Well, what if I told you that the real culprit is your genes? Dr. Ergen, I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes specialist. I'm here to help you win over your diabetes. So keep watching. Yes, even if you're genetically disadvantaged. That's right. According to a recent research, the majority of genetic variations associated with type 2 diabetes are taught to act by the subtle changes in the amount, the timing, and the location of the gene activity. We call this expression, gene expression. These changes in the expression of the genes involved in many aspects of type 2 diabetes, including the development and function of beta cells in your pancreas, and the release and the processing of the insulin, and even the cell's sensitivity to the effects of the insulin. Can you believe that? Everything is determined by genetics. The pancreas, as you know, is the organ that makes the insulin. Some of us are not genetically blessed and end up gaining weight. This could be due to genetic predisposition, so blame your mom and dad, but uh, lifestyle factors actually like poor eating habits and a lack of adequate exercise and so forth can do that as well. Now, when the weight gain and lack of exercise combine with that genetically poor insulin reserve in the pancreas, then that leads to diabetes. Well, don't fret. There are things that you can do even if what I call you're pancreatically challenged. Knowing what is wrong with you gives you 50% of the solution, right? Well, I agree that being pancreatically challenged ain't easy. It is a chronic condition that requires vigilance and a positive attitude, okay? But it is also an opportunity, really, to be awesome. Now, being pancreatically challenged, diabetic in short, is a chance to show the world that you can actually overcome any obstacle, no matter how difficult it may seem. It is a chance to inspire others and to prove that anything is possible if you set your mind to it. So if you are pancreatically challenged, don't let it hold you back. Embrace it and use it as a fuel for your awesomeness. You'll be glad you did, even if you're pancreatically challenged. Remember, you are chronically awesome. If you did not know what the pancreas is, let me tell you a little more. Pancreas is a small, nice, pear-shaped organ located behind your stomach. It produces enzymes, actually, primarily that help you digest the food, and it also makes the hormones to regulate the metabolism, primarily insulin and glucagon. Now, studies have shown that there are certain genetic factors that can predispose a person to developing the condition. Now, in particular, there are at least 150 DNA variations that have been linked to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Can you believe that? Most of these variations are actually quite common and present in both people with diabetes and without. So if you don't have diabetes, don't think that I'm good. Each person has a unique combination of these variations, which helps to determine their individual likelihood of developing the disease. It's getting interesting, right? Well, while the genetics may play a role in type 2 diabetes, it is not the only factor. We know that lifestyle choices such as the diet, the exercise, they play a significant role. Therefore, therefore, it is important to remember that the genetic risk is just one piece of the puzzle and yet an important one. Now, when it comes to type 1 diabetes, we have a slightly different story here. There is a gene called INS gene that provides instructions for producing the hormone insulin which is necessary for the control of your blood sugar levels in the blood all the time. But if there are like real hits, real mutations in that INS gene, then you will have type 1 diabetes. Now, this disorder is characterized by an inability to produce insulin and increased susceptibility to infection. So most often type 1 diabetes, you know, develops in a childhood or early adolescence and so forth, and they're not necessarily obese individuals but it can occur at any age. I have really diagnosed type 1 diabetics in their 80s, like that's not once or twice, multiple times. And symptoms of type 1 diabetes are not really much different than type 2. You know, if you're really uncontrolled, you will have thirst, frequent urination, weight loss, and fatigue, and so forth. And if you don't treat it, both type 1 and type 2 diabetes 
can lead to quite serious complications. And you know that, like, like heart disease, the kidney damage, and so forth. Now, since diabetes type 1 starts with an, at an earlier age, it is important to get the control of it earlier to prevent early complications. Well, let me tell you, my friend, diabetes is a tricky business. Just because you have the genetic background that predisposes you to diabetes, it does not mean you will develop diabetes anyway. So, you have to be careful of what I'm trying to say here. Be care careful and listen. If you have diabetes, it doesn't mean you will have diabetes complications either. The best way to protect yourself from diabetes is to live a healthy lifestyle today. Get regular checkups, and if you develop diabetes, there are many treatments, either pharmaceutical or herbal or holistic, whatever you want to do. They're all available right now. We are not in the Middle Ages, okay? This is a modern era. And whatever your preference is, anybody can help you who has interest and passion in treating diabetes, hopefully a specialist. But anybody you can trust, who knows you, understands you, your wishes, your, your uh, behavior, your uh, beliefs, work with them. And you will be able to prevent complications if you are on it. So don't despair. If diabetes runs in your family, don't say, oh, it's in my family, I'm gonna die anyways. No. With a little care and effort, you can stay healthy and complication-free. Yes, diabetes is a serious disease, but it doesn't have to be a life sentence of feeling like crummy all the time, right? So be open-minded, do everything you can to help yourself, and most importantly, stay motivated. Again, don't despair. Don't let diabetes take you down. Once you have made the decision to fight back against the disease, half the battle is already won. Now, it is up to you to keep up with the good work by making healthy lifestyle choices, staying on top of your glucose levels, and luckily there are many resources available, like this channel, this YouTube channel. Watch as many videos as you can to help you along the way. So. Get out there, show your diabetes who's the boss, okay? And guess what? If you haven't subscribed to my channel here, please do so. Click on the bell to get notified for three videos a week. Believe me, it's not easy. I'm taking a lot of time for this. Spread the word so more people know about this channel. And guess what? Thank you very much. We cannot grow without you. And I wanna make sure that you guys are all learning. It's a community. We wanna make sure that we are all living healthy lives and we're not letting diabetes win. Have a great day. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.